Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and today's video is our favorite subject, and this is an open collaboration with Rooted in Rest and the Waldock Way, and I'll link the playlist in the description. So our favorite subject is by far science. Um, my kid loves science and we've really enjoyed what we've picked for science curriculum this year. So we've been using Blossom and Root um, third grade level. And what I wanted to kind of highlight today was we had just finished the prehistoric world extra um, wonders bundle that they have. Um, it's uh, 13 wonders, which are like their, their lessons or their topics. And it covers everything from the pre-Cambrian all the way up to the current time periods. It goes into all the dinosaurs and um, everything else <laughs> prehistoric. So it's been really exciting for us to go through this. And the reason I'm facing this way is I wanted to show you all of these things that are up here on our wall is what we actually did. Um, the hands-on portion, this is something that we did uh, in addition to what was listed in the curriculum, but um, my kid came up with the idea to make a timeline. So the timeline starts, oh, there we go, with the pre-Cambrium and each of these different colored uh, pieces of paper is a different time period or an ice age or an extinction event. Then we move to the Mesozoic and we have all of the dinosaur ones. And then we have the Cenozoic era and we have the epochs here below. So science has been really fun. Uh, the Blossom and Root curriculum uh, is really nice because it has set things up where you have a lot of options to choose from. So it starts with some big picture messages um, that you want to make sure those are the key components of the lesson. Um, and then it has six different sort of sections after that. Uh, one, it says for the minimalist and it's got some book messages or some book passages. Um, Two is for the basket, uh, book basket people, and it lists a lot of additional books that can go along with it. Uh, three is for the visual learners, and it's got a lot of links to online videos that may be appropriate for your learner. Uh, number four is outdoor learners, um, and these are for like the, the hands-on portion. So doing stuff outdoors. Number five is for table lab. So hands-on table stuff. And then number six is for the crafts and projects. So we went through and I would say we don't necessarily fit under any one of those. So we picked and choose, um, pick, picked and chose. We chose which ones um, we'd want to do for each lesson. If something looked interesting, then we'd do that. The other thing that it ends up with is that after each wonder, they're taking notes and it's drawing a picture and writing some sentences because scientists take notes, right? And it's been a great way to really tie in some of those additional writing practice, handwriting, um, punctuation, those type of things that my kids a little bit resistant towards. But it's a great way to incorporate those because if you want to be a scientist, you have to make good notes so that other people can learn from what you've discovered. So it's been really good to, to tie that in. Um, there are some other things that we've done for science just on the side, some um, science experiments, we made slime. Um, we've got some little kits for building different things, but it really has tied in with the Blossom and Root curriculum. And now that we finished that prehistoric bit, we're going to jump back into the regular third grade, um, which is on the animal kingdom. So we're going to continue to learn about all of the animals um, that exist today now that we've learned <laughs> about all of the animals that existed before. So thanks for watching. Check out the other videos on the playlist. Bye.